this from the bone level implant from Switzerland and from the first view it looks really very good. But you can see that the um, conical interface, the conical parts are too small and if we have a look to the video again and you have a look at this region you can see we have also a permanent shift inside of this interface. And if we have a look to the detailed recording, we see that it is really a large permanent shift. And we also can see that it starts at only 100 newtons that we have a gap forming. But the interesting thing is, in the upper region, at our <coughs> conical interface, we see that the tension is so strong that we have no gap forming inside of the conical interface. But there is a movement inside because, uh, because it's logical, the abutment tilts permanent sideways. And so we have an abrasion inside of this conical interface. And one problem could be we have titanium um, particles inside and we destroy the titanium oxide surface. So the titanium oxide surface has to be built new and so we have chemical effects um, inside near of the bone. And also there is an interesting um, literature from the orthopedic implantology where we can see that nano and micro particles um, which has a size smaller than 10 microns, activates our osteoclasts. So we will get a bone loss. And so we loaded um, 200,000 cycles and um, we put it in an, to an SEM as, uh, analyze. And if we come nearer to it and have a closer look, we see there are really much abrasions inside of this conical interface. And if we have a closer look, we see that it is not only one particle, that are really much particles. And now we change the mode of the SEM and goes a little bit closer to it. And we see it's not one or two, it's hundred thousand or million particles, which are smaller than one micron. So they can pass the soft tissue without a problem and I think we will found these particles after some years everywhere in our body and also if we come closer we can see that there are particles which are smaller than 100 nanometers so we can say that is perfect nanotechnology made from Switzerland but I don't think that the cells really will love these particles so we could get a problem with the bone loss.